President Donald Trump caused a great deal of confusion in the national security arena on Friday when he announced the removal of some sanctions against North Korea. Trump tweeted, it was announced today by the U.S. Treasury that additional large-scale sanctions would be added to those already existing sanctions on North Korea. I have today ordered the withdrawal of those additional sanctions. Nobody knows quite what his tweet is referring to, as the United States Treasury issued no large-scale sanctions announced on Friday. The only recently announced sanctions by Treasury this week were against two Chinese shipping companies who had allegedly violated existing sanctions in place concerning shipments to North Korea. Perhaps that is what he was referring to in his tweet. In any event, the reason is based solely on his bromance with Kim Jong-un, or Kaimans. White House spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders stated, Trump likes Chairman Kim, and he doesn't think these sanctions will be necessary. Trump, the man who does not sit through briefings, does not read anything, is just doing what he wants to do, because yet again, he personally likes a dictator. John Bolton, national security advisor, applauded the sanctions that were implemented on Thursday, noting that the, the maritime industry must do more to stop North Korea's illicit shipping practices, and cautioned in his tweet that everyone should take notice and review their own activities to ensure they are not involved in North Korea's sanctions evasion. By taking this action today, Trump gave an assist to China and President Xi and to Chairman Kim. If it were based on some rational facts and supported by evidence, it would be one thing. However, we continue to have a guy in the White House who loves Kim and once again goes against his close advisors. They have a better grasp on the world stage than Trump does, as he watches Fox all day and tweets recklessly.